Welcome back to our channel, Ma and Me. Hi! To get this look, continue watching this video. And I'm back with yet another get ready with me makeup tutorial today I'm going to do a very easy a very quick makeup look which I do almost every day so come along with me see what I do and yes let's get started so first I'm starting with my eyes today I'm not doing the concealer I'm using this eye crayon it's a green color eye crayon so I'm starting with this So I'm just putting this on the entire eye. One eye done. I'm just completing the second eye. So there, the green is done. Now I'm going to cover this with a eyeshadow, a green eyeshadow. Today I'm using this, the greens over here. So they have two different shades of green. I'm using two different shades of green on this. But the base was just one green. Take my brush. The fallout of the lacme is a lot, so just keep on dusting it well. Just patting it into the crease over here. That's it. Now I'm doing the second eye. Now that's done. Towards the end, I'll take a darker shade. The next darker shade. Dust all the excess powder off. And just gently pat it towards the end so there's not much of a difference between the shades but if you see properly there's a slight difference between both the colors so you just do this there you go now do the second eye so the eyes are done almost complete the clean brush i will just take one of these highlighters over here maybe like more of the goldeny type, dust off the excess and just put it over here. So just like that. Both eyes complete. Now what I'll do is I'll even do the eyeliner and the mascara and then I will take the concealer. Today I'm just using like an eye pencil on top. I don't want something very thick because the eye is already bold with the eyeshadow. So just one thin line of black which I will blend and smudge. Just one. something like this which I'm going to smudge a little bit so let me do the other eye also so now smudger I'm just going to smudge this and give it a, a softer look so something like this for now now I'll complete the second eye and get back so now i'm going to curl the eyelashes there you go so you can see the difference immediately one eye done now i'm going to do the second eye so the eyelashes are curled so now i'm going to apply a nice thick layer of mascara so here you go a 
I just love this mascara. Even when you're tired, your eyes always show it. So the best thing to do is apply a nice layer of mascara to immediately open up the eyes. So there you go. Mascara done. So now I'm going to apply mascara on the second eye and then we will do our concealer. Mascara complete. Now it's time to do the base. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do the concealer. So let's start with the concealer. First, if there was any fallout, I just want to use this powder brush. Now ready for the concealer. So as you all know, the concealer will be a mixture of my foundation and my concealer because I don't have the exact shade for my concealer at the moment. So I make it do by blending my foundation with my concealer. So for my concealer, I use a blend of this, the Instant Age Eraser and the Fit Me. I use these you can use a concealer brush but I prefer using my finger just this finger just tap it lightly and press the concealer into the eye area very light very light thin layer of foundation like not even one pump because on a regular basis on a day-to-day -day basis i do not use too much of foundation so i just take this in and i just pat it into my skin very little bit so and i do it with my fingers i have foundation brushes but i don't really use it when I am using my day-to-day -day, everyday makeup and you know the drill wet the sponge and take it into the hairline foundation has to always be taken into the hairline otherwise it will be two different colors and also the neck and if you are wearing like a low neck or off the shoulder top you must always blend it into the skin always but the thing is I am not using too much of product I didn't even take one pump so that is the reason why I am not blending it so much because there is hardly any product on my face First, I pack the concealer. What I had put, I just pack it with powder. And I'll blend it with a brush, but for now, I'm just packing it like this. Now, I'm going to apply powder all over my face. That's the excess off and on the neck, all over the place. powder done now comes time for the contour or the bronzer so when I'm in a hurry all I do is I take my bronzer 
and I don't do two layers. I don't do a contouring first. I just do the work of the contour with my bronzer. Just like that. on the cheekbone to give you that chiseled look on the jawline and underneath for your double chin done so now even for my blusher what i do is when i'm in a hurry i take a little bit of the bronzer dust it take a little bit of the gold dust it so there's a blend of both then on the apples of the cheek smile there you go and Take your highlighter just see that see the glow since I like extra highlighter so I'm going to be more generous and just give like a coating of highlighter on the cupid's bow And take this nice rose gold and put this on the collarbone be very generous you want to glow a little extra today when you wear tops and dresses like this which are almost off the shoulder so there you go so can you see the glow almost done so now i'm taking some lip balm and applying it on my lips so that when i apply my lipstick my lips are not going to be dry and chapped just a little bit that's all you need now for my eyes since i've used green up i want to use green down and in the waterline i want to use my kajal so first i'll start with underneath something like this so i'm going to do the next eye and then i will put kajal so eyes are done now in the water line i just put my kajal like that with this eye eyes done so now on to my lipstick so today for my lipstick, I'm using this pink shade. Now, if you have very thin lips, what you can do is, when you're outlining your lips, outline it little on the outer surface, up and down. But since I don't need to do that, I outline it on the exact lip. And you know why I outline it, right? It stops the bleeding and running of the lipstick. That's all. And it keeps your lipstick in place. Without bleeding and going out of the line. So if you have thin lips, you want to cheat and do it on the outer line, go right ahead. Who doesn't love a lovely pout? So that's done. Now I'm going to fill it with this pink shade.
you can put one more coat if you want it to last long and stay and even look darker so i think i'm going to use that one more coat and the quick tip which i gave you all the last time which was compact powder there you go lipstick will stay longer so the finishing touches is always a makeup fixer so shake it keep it at a little bit of a distance and ready so let me get the whole look together give me a moment and i'll be back Bye. Bye.